Hey guys, welcome to Monoview. Today we're going to be going over camera reset instructions and why it's necessary to do it. So first off, uh, a couple of reasons why you probably want to reset your cameras. The most typical is going to be an invalid username or password error. This is when uh, most likely you've changed your NVR password, but your camera has retained the old password that you may or may not know. So in this case, if you did a factory reset on the camera, that would purge out the password that's in there and then make it acceptable to uh, basically get a new password from whatever NVR it's plugged into. So it acts like it's being plugged in for the very first time after that. The second reason you'd want to do it is if there was an IP address error and uh, perhaps you've either changed ISPs, you have a new router, um, basically the IP address given to that particular camera is not working anymore and uh, it's too complicated to modify the IP address for you. So you can reset the camera and that will kick out the IP address that it has and then it will automatically take in whatever IP address is given to it by the router or the switch that it's plugged into or the NVR. So uh, finally, the third reason you would want to reset your camera is if it's just acting a little glitchy. Now this is really rare and typically uh, cameras that have known errors, we release firmware to fix those issues. But occasionally a camera will see in black and white, it'll you know go black, it'll go white. Some They do some really crazy stuff sometimes. And in order to fix this, typically we would recommend a factory reset for your camera. All right guys, so the first and maybe easiest method of resetting your Monoview cameras is going to be through the web login service. In order to access this, typically your camera is going to be attached to an NVR. So you're gonna to want to acquire the IP address for the NVR first. You can do this by logging into the main menu of your NVR, then maneuvering over to network, then TCP slash IP. On this screen, your IP address for your NVR will be listed at the top. Once you have this number, Take your IP address and go to a computer, this can be a PC or a Mac, open up a web browser, and then type in just that IP address into your address bar. Once you hit enter, you'll be taken to the login screen for your NVR. Log in. Then go to your camera registration by going to the main menu, select management, then camera, and then registration. Once you're at the registration, Find the list of cameras attached to your NVR, which is at the bottom of the screen in the lower half. And for each camera or channel, you should see a blue Internet Explorer E icon. You'll want to press the one that corresponds to the camera you need to access, and that will take you to the web login screen for that particular camera. Once you're there, again, use your credentials, the admin username, and then the password, and that will log you straight into the camera. Now to factory reset it from here, click on settings in the upper right corner and then go to the left side as shown here and perform a factory default. If your camera is not attached to an NVR and it's just on a PoE switch or some other method, it is going to have its own unique IP address that you can just find either by logging into the uh, registration for your NVR or by using an IP config tool on your computer's network to uh, ascertain the IP address for that camera. Then just like before, you want to take that IP address into a web browser, type it in, and the list of steps is the same. You just cut out the middleman of logging into the NVR that way. So that is how you would reset it digitally. However, most of the time we run into people when they have an invalid username or password is most of the reason that you would have to reset a camera. In, in this case, you would not be able to log in using the web service because you don't know your password. So that leaves one option and one option only, and that is to physically reset your cameras. This is different depending on what model you're dealing with. Uh, we do have very, very specific instructions and pictures on our website. You just have to go to monoview.com then select the help center then you're going to look for factory reset instructions and then from there you just have to find the correct model of camera that lines up with yours and the instructions are there 
However, I am going to cover a few of our most popular cameras today on video, uh, which might give you a better idea of what you're, what you're dealing with. So uh, I've got our five most popular camera models here right now. I've got our bullet, our turret camera, our doorbell, our dome camera, and then our, P our big PTZ. So it's either going to be the 4250 or the 8250, or for the older customers, 4120. So um, start with the bullet camera. There is going to be a panel on the bottom that you'll have to unscrew with two screws. I've taken the liberty of doing it prior to this video, so you guys don't have to watch that. So you're gonna remove the panel and the reset button is gonna be right there indicated by RST, right next to the SD card. So once you find that button, make sure the camera is plugged in. All these cameras do need power when they're being factory reset. That is very important. Next, you want to hold that button down for a solid 30 to 35 seconds. Um, the camera will reboot and then it will go offline for about a minute or two. Uh, then it will come back and it will automatically adopt the password and the IP address that's being given to it by whatever device it is currently plugged into. So uh, turret cameras, again, the newer models, uh, we have a panel that's right here next to the speaker. Uh, again, next to the SD card, tiny, tiny little black button, but easily accessible. So the next camera we're gonna talk about is the doorbell. The reset button is gonna be on the back, so you'll most likely have to unmount that. It is a little rubber button. It actually does say reset there, and you're gonna hold this button down um, until there's gonna be a little voice that emanates out of the speaker, and he's going to say, device is undergoing hard reset. As soon as you hear that, you're good to go. You can let go of the button and it's gonna do the rest automatically. Dome cameras, these ones are a little bit more tricky. First, you're gonna unscrew the three screws that are locking in the dome to the main base. Once you've got that, you're gonna remove it, put it on the side, and you'll find the reset button right under the lens close to the ribbon cable. Now the ribbon cable is that big fat flat orange piece that goes right under the lens. It's very hard to miss. And then your button itself is gonna be the small black one and it sits on top of a, almost a chrome box or a square. Again, hold it down for 30 seconds while the camera's plugged in and the camera will reset. Finally, we've got our PTZ cameras. Now I've chosen the larger of the models uh, because the smaller ones actually work like the dome camera but the 4250 and the 8250, and for some of our uh, older customers, they might have the 4120. Either way, they're gonna look something similar to this. So to reset these cameras, we'll access the back of the lens. So it's just the panel on the opposite side of where the lens sits. And there's four screws that hold that one down. So as soon as all four screws are loosened and removed, you should be able to pop the back right off like that. And that's going to expose the green motherboard underneath and your reset button is going to be a little gold colored button uh, that sits on top of a chrome square. Super easy, it's right there. And again, hold it down for about 30 seconds. What's nice about the PTZ cameras is as soon as they do the reboot, uh, once they come back online, they will turn left and then turn right just to sort of get acclimated to where they're at. So it's always a good indicator of that you know, that you've successfully reset your PTZ camera is when they start to kind of do their automatic movements after rebooting. So um, yeah, that pretty much covers our reset instructions. Hopefully this video helps you guys out a lot. And if you have any further questions, again, call our customer service line. The guys are always available to help you out with any, any needs, uh, but including factory resetting. So thanks for coming by guys. Have a good day.